Oogie Doogie Doak, we've got our front of Dolly because it's got the bow. We've got our back of Dolly. All four hips are on, all trims on the knickknacks. But it's not laying very flat, is it? Okay, when we sew the curves here and we were pivoting that fabric to ease it through, what has happened is fabric doesn't want to curve and it just it wants to go in a straight line. So we're going to have to ask it to change its behaviour by taking out some of this excess. Now, using a pair of scissors, what I want you to do, ooh, doo -doo, is I want to clip the curves. Now, clipping the curves means snipping towards the stitch line but not going through it. Make a small V. There we go. Take that out of the way. Now what that allows to, it, the fabric to do is to relax into that gap without bunching. So anytime you get a curve when you're making your dolly, you don't actually have to cut triangles. You can just snip, 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 all the way down, one for luck. And then if I pop that to the side, you'll see something magic happen. That lays completely flat now. Okay. And if you want to, you can iron it. But I promised you something to blow your mind. And I only learnt this yesterday. Ever seen a pair of these? They're pinking shears. So when they cut, they cut a zigzag. Mm, logical. And once I tell you this, you'll never think of them the same way. But don't they cut little triangles? They do. So, I heard from a, a lady on a Russian blog who was making a pair of scissors to use pinking shears to trim your seams. So, if we use the pinkers to cut that seam allowance, we're cutting little triangles. Can you see those? Oh, no, because I'm far off the camera. We've cut all these little triangles and it should oh, behave in just the same way as snipping. Now that little that little hack is going to save you so much time with all of your sewing, whether you're making clothes, soft toys, soft furnishings. If any time you need to clip a curve, use some pinking shears. Now I must just say a little thank you to my mum and dad who bought me these. And you know, if you ask one for Christmas, make sure that they put some silver in with the scissors so that they don't break the friendship or cut the friendship. Um, just a silly old superstition, but if you're ever going to give your friends a pair of scissors or anything that cuts, also give them silver. We're going on to the next step now, which is Dolly's eyes. 